Success on YouTube really depends on a lot of different things right now. The algorithm looks for all sorts of things, but one of the most important things is an amazing thumbnail. I'm gonna teach you right now how to make a great thumbnail for free. Yes, for free. Don't go away. A lot of big YouTubers use expensive packages like Photoshop to make some amazing thumbnails. Photoshop is awesome, no question. But how do people have great thumbnails without spending any money? Not everybody's got the budget for big packages. They can do their titles. They can make sure their tags are absolutely spot on. They can make sure the descriptions are perfect. But what about the thumbnails? This is how you do it for free. So we're gonna go through step by step as to how we're gonna create these thumbnails. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna make the thumbnail that I've put as the thumbnail for this particular video that you are watching right now. So it's a bit back to front. We're making the video and the thumbnail's gonna go at the end. You've already seen the thumbnail. You know what it looks like and this is how we made it. And we made it absolutely free. We're not using Photoshop. We're not using any commercially available packages. This is something free on the internet and it works really well. It's called BeFunky.com and I highly recommend it. I use it to make all of my thumbnails and I think they look pretty good actually. So the first thing we've got to do is to get ourselves a thumbnail background. This is hugely important. If you've got the wrong background, what you put in the foreground isn't gonna stand out very well. There's a little bit of artistic license in here. Okay, you gotta think, okay, does that color go with that one? Does that color go with that one? Get yourself maybe a color palette. Again, go into Google, just Google color palette, and it will show you what colors go with what other colors, complementaries and things like that. So go to Google and get yourself a really great background. Something plain is good, something colored is good, whatever you fancy, and upload it using the upload button right here. So if you've saved it to your desktop, for example, you can upload it now from your computer. So let's get a good background in right now. So I'm looking at a few options that we could use for a background. This one's okay, it's not too boomy in your face, but I think it could limit what I put in the front. So I don't think I wanna go for that one. This one's quite nice, I've used this a few times before, but again, it's very dark. So you have to have exactly the right foreground. I don't think it's suitable for this particular thumbnail. We've got a blue background. Now this one really could work very, very nicely. Blue works well. A lot of people, however, do use blue in their thumbnails. So if you're looking at a thumbnail list, you might find that you're one of 20 blue thumbnails and you may not stand out as much. So you might want to go for green. Green is great, but again, you need the right colors in the foreground, yellows, etc. And for me, that's not what I'm going to do with this particular thumbnail. I'm actually going to go for something fairly straightforward, a kind of gray, white, faded background that I've used for a few of my instructional videos and it works really well because what it does it stops you looking at the background and it brings out the foreground which is the message that you want people to see so we're going to go with this background right here so we open it up and it loads it into the photo editor for us first thing I always like to do is to check the size of this particular one now it's 2560 1544 it's not exactly the right size for a YouTube thumbnail what we want to go is 1280 if we look at the locked aspect ratio, which means when it changes one length, it also changes the other length by the same amount, it's 772. And a true thumbnail is gonna be 720. So unlock aspect, change that to 720, and enter. It will change the shape of that ever so slightly. And because it was a plain background, that doesn't matter. Lock the aspect ratio again, so if we play around with it, it doesn't mess up, and tick. And you have now got a perfectly sized YouTube thumbnail frame that we can just all, all kinds of things into. So the next thing we want to do is bring in a focal point for the thumbnail. Now it's been proven that there are different strategies for thumbnails that are going to bring people in and we're not talking about clickbait here, we're talking about things that interest people or bring their eye towards the particular thumbnail, maybe over the other thumbnails that are in the list. Now it is fairly well documented that female faces with expressive faces or movie actions are really quite interesting especially when coupled with other images around the back so what i'm going to do with this particular uh, thumbnail is i'm going to bring in a female faces just to to create some eye interest it's not clickbait now this is very important clickbait is what makes people think something is in the video that it is not we are not creating a clickbait thumbnail we are creating a thumbnail that will draw the eye to the video over and above the videos that are surrounding it. So it does its work for us. So let's go to Google, who is our friend, and find some royalty-free, free-to-use images of the things that we want to find. And I'm not gonna do the searching online, I'm just gonna come back to you when I've got an image that I like. So when you found an image that you like, come to this site here, clippingmagic.com. Now you've got a limited number of times you can use this per month, 
before you have to pay but you get I think it's 10 or 12 goes per month where you can use whatever you want and you can create a nice um, cut out image because this is what we're going to do here we've got an image from the internet but it's got a background we don't want it to have a background because we've already got our own background so we need to create a transparent .gif file and we're going to do this through this particular package so we're going to pick an image that we're going to upload I'll do that now and I'll be back once I've done that so you can see now we've got the image that we're going to use and it's expressive face it's thumbs hence thumbnails that's why we've gone with the thumbs and we're going to use this to draw the eye to the thumbnail that we are making right now and hopefully people will click on this one over the other and the fact that you're watching the video hopefully proves that it works but we've got this white background we need to remove it and the way we're going to remove it is really really simple using this tool we've got green and red little dots on the top left hand side here so on the left picture here we are going to click don't have to do very much just click uh, in the image that we want to keep all the areas that we want to keep in the image we don't have to do a lot because it's a fairly clever package and it knows whether or not something is close to what we're trying to find so uh, once we've done that a few times and then get the red one and click where we want to remove it now it might only take one click I don't know what will it do there we go right so it's removed absolutely loads with just one click of the red but you can see here we've got to do some touching up so change to the hand and zoom in to this image right here and we're going to change back to our green and we're going to push the green edge out so as we incorporate all the bits that we want to keep within our image and then we're going to zoom back in again and look at the image on the right this is what you're going to have when you download this particular image you can see we're not quite right here we've got a little dent there so let's bring that to the middle zoom right in you can see we've not quite got it right here click the green there that then is perfect I'm not going to worry about the wisp of hair and I think we're very happy with that and then you go to the download that's going to download the result for us now it's created it and we can pull that into the be funky package that we were looking at a moment ago so we're back in be funky and we're going to pull the image that we just clipped out into this uh, file so we go to layer manager and we're going to add a layer and the layer we're going to add is that picture so this is what we called it thumbs up clipped open that up and we've got that in our image and if we move that around you can see that it's completely cut out and we want to just expand the size of that so as one well not so it's so big but so it's big enough to be able to see in a small thumbnail remember thumbnails are pretty small now I appreciate here you've got a little bit of white but remember this is going to be much smaller when you look at this as a thumbnail and that's not going to show as anything more than an ever such a slight glow to the side of her head so don't worry about that level of detail at this stage it is perfectly fine I'm going to pull this to one side you can see so that hand is coming out of shot and if I then click off her you'll see what the thumbnail will actually look at and it's not quite right so let's go to the side a little bit more and there we go maybe it would look better on the other side let's try that so there she is she's putting her thumb out and move something to the side even more so there you go so you've got someone pulling their thumb out this is a thumbnail video so that is relatively relevant and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in just a couple of examples of thumbnails some small thumbnails that we can put into this as well so we're going to add a layer and we're going to perhaps get a Kylie Jenner makeup tutorial style thumbnail let's stick that in there just leave it there for now we're going to do something with that in a minute add another one we'll bring in a Avo's journey video thumbnail that I made personally a little while ago so you can change the size and the orientation of these thumbnails as much as you want so you can spin them around a little bit and what I want you to do is to just experiment have a think about what it is you want to do let's get that one like that let's get that one maybe like that and if we click off again that shows us what that looks like when we've got the, the thumbnail properly clipped it's not quite right let's pull that off there so we've got two thumbnails on the side there just as examples of how to make an awesome thumbnail and the last thing we need to do is to get some really great lettering some words but not too much just a little bit of words so let's go and get some words right now and we're going to do this using cooltext.com it's a logo design website I recommend you come and have a look this is completely free and we can go into our where it says logos the drop down here and we have got loads of choice of the kind of templates that we want to use for our lettering and what's great about these is they come out already clipped you don't have to clip them I'm going to choose something that is um, 
not not too um, modern or cartoony looks fairly serious but doesn't look too jaggedy and I personally for this one I'm liking this particular logo and you can change this in a lot of different ways first thing you want to change is to change the text size I think going to 200 is a choice that you should always do because what happens is you lose the resolution of the lettering if you don't change it a little bit go on to logo and you can change things here an awful lot as well so if we use the text pattern it brings up the default text pattern and changes it on the lettering click on that and you've got loads of choice of the type of text patterns that you can use on this particular logo and just experiment have a play with them what one do you think you like the best it's entirely up to you now we have got um, some different colors in our logo so think about what colors we've already got in our logo and what colors would look really suitable in this particular letter and I think I want something relatively soft um, so things like this lightning isn't going to work things like this fire isn't going to work so let's go for something like I don't know one we experiment and see what this looks like in the logo right now I don't like that I don't think that looks very nice at all so we're going to change that again just click on it and go through it what about something red to catch the eye now that's quite nice I like that that looks good um, we can also change the outline thickness by clicking on this button here and that's going to make that outline look even more bold and then what we can also do is change the shadow um, to create more shadow there and you can blur it in different ways sharp or light blur has got you know, more darkness if you like so let's change it to light blur and we're going to change the opacity of that shadow which means it's going to look blacker up to 80 so it's a really obvious and bold shadow there you can see the difference that's made that's really quite nice here you can also add images and put composites on it but I've never ever done that at all ever so I won't worry about it too much now come back to text and this is where we can write what we want now you've got a few choices but I would recommend you write each word that you're going to put into your title into your thumbnail separately so you can move them around separately you might want to put them next to each other but what if you want to put one just offset of another so let's make sure we put separate words in and we're just going to use a few very basic words and that is make create that logo download that downloads that we're going to go awesome create the logo download edit thumbnails can you see where I'm going with this create the logo download edit then we're gonna go for create the logo download and the last one is free and you can see I've made this capitalized because it's the word that we really wanted to push so create that logo and download and then we need to go back to the photo editing package we've got our lettering in and one thing I'm looking at here I'm thinking you know what I think that's too much lettering for what it is we're trying to achieve so we want to maybe perhaps we want to reduce the size of the thumbnails a little bit to give ourselves some space and this is where we just have a bit of a play around to see what we think is actually best for what it is we're trying to achieve now do I need to have make awesome thumbnails for free completely in this thumbnail maybe that's my title so you want to think about okay what the thumbnail says isn't going to be a keyword Google isn't going to search your image it is only going to search your title so maybe I want to have awesome free thumbnails maybe that's what I want to want to have in there so awesome free drag that across like that and then get thumbnails drag that across like that Perhaps that's what we want and I think that looks a lot more I don't know appealing to the eye than having make awesome thumbnails for free which would be too much too much wording I think it would just look a little bit crowded wouldn't look particularly interesting and people will probably not click on it because it wasn't quite right now comprise the title in with the thumbnail and you get a very compelling draw especially if you use the description the very first line of description as well to bring in the same level of message I'm going to make this awesome a little bit bigger I'm gonna make the free a little bit bigger doesn't matter that we overlap the thumbnails in the background of course that's irrelevant and we can even use the lettering to cover up a little bit that white in the girl's hair and I think what we've got there is a really quite attractive thumbnail and what we do once you're absolutely delighted with the way it looks you can then download it now there is an option 
in um, Be Funky and there's lots of different things you can do with Be Funky and I invite you to maybe come along and just have a bit of a play with it but there is an option for a few dollars that you can bring in some more um, chromic backgrounds. Me personally I'm not going to use it for this thumbnail, I don't think it needs it but I've used it for some other things. So what we do is now we save that to the computer and we have a great thumbnail. Let's go and see what it looks like once it's saved. And we have there a completed thumbnail and you would have seen this already because you've seen the thumbnail on the list having clicked through it to watch this video. Thank you very much for watching the video. I'm really grateful. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button for me. I'm not going to know whether you've liked it unless you hit the like button and it really helps out the channel. So I'm very grateful. And don't forget, if you want to subscribe, if you like the content of this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button with the notifications bell and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.